All right, back in one more time. One last video for the trip. Wait till a few more people come in. Whew. Back out here in Vegas. All right. Whew. This is gonna be my last uh, live stream. What's up, y'all, what up, what up? This is gonna be my last live stream of the trip. I just wanted to give y'all a little recap. Let y'all know everything I've seen. Answer any questions if y'all got any questions. See if there's anything y'all want to talk about. What's up, James? What's going on, baby? All right. Now, nah, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. We're just chilling tonight. The, the, the last day of the show is tomorrow. I'm actually not going to make it to that. But I wanted to let y'all know what I've seen that I like so far. Basically, I would say the highlight of everything I've seen was the LG TVs. All right, the LG TVs. I posted a little video on Instagram. It really didn't do it justice. But the LG TVs, the curved TVs. What up, Alan? I see you, baby. The LG TVs, crazy. So tonight is the uh, last night. It is what it is. Word, I'm, if you see it for yourself. Now, th those videos, you're not going to really get the full feeling. You got to stand there. Put it like this. Imagine if you, your living room, wherever you're at right now, imagine your whole living room with just all of the walls was TVs. And every curved surface, anywhere you can look at is, is a screen. And then watch a movie like that and have a good system with some bass. That kind of blew me away. That blew me away. What else? Um, we had the uh, the robotics. Robotics ain't really my thing, so I, I didn't really look at too much of that. Self-driving comments. Ah, uh, comments. Self-driving cars. I see your comments, bro. I see them. Self-driving cars and all that. That was fun. That was cool, too. Ashkeet. Shout out to Ashkeet. I appreciate that. Konnichiwa. You know how we do. But anyway, um... <laughs> Uh, five the five G phones. As far as the phone games, not really too much new stuff. Now you see my last post. The Samsung event is on February twentieth, so that's what y'all need to mark in your calendars. That's what we're gonna get hyped about. Samsung event. As far as out here though, I didn't really see any phones. That Nubia X. I'm gonna wait to do a full hands on. That that kind of looks dope. We had the uh, all the Honor phones. Oh, also, also, I, I really wanted to give a special, a special thank you to my man Chris from Honor. Now, a lot of people, y'all seen that video, and at the end he said thought protection. I did not tell him to say that, but Chris is actually one of my dudes that I hung out with from from a long time ago. Like, I didn't just meet him last week. That's one, that's actually one of my friends. Last year for CES, me and Chris actually walked around the whole show together. So that's actually somebody that I know. Brian, I see you, London, London boy. Salute. Uh, Mid Daniel, appreciate that. I've been good, uh, MD Daniel. Just chilling, you know. Uh, third <laughs> third room, I, I different room now. If y'all remember the, the last situation, and Exquisite Bliss, what's up, baby? Last situation, I ended up staying downtown, Golden Nugget. That was kind of cool because it was right there on Fremont Street, right by all the action. But the room itself was pretty trash. They didn't have any TV stations or nothing, so I had to get up out of there. So now I'm back on the strip. Anyway, yeah, like I was saying, yo, big salute to my man Chris because he didn't have to do that. He didn't have to give me a full, everybody was saying he looked nervous and all that. I don't think he was nervous. I think he was just being himself, and he did a good job in my opinion, and I really appreciate him taking the time out to give me that personal demo like that because if I had to do it myself, holding the camera and doing the demo, it would have it looked like trash. All right, so big shout out to Chris. Make sure y'all go follow his channel. I know uh, I be getting a bad rap online if y'all follow all of the bullshit that be going down on Twitter. People be saying that, oh, Floss, he don't hang out with small YouTubers and all that. Yo, Chris is my dude. I don't, I don't hang out with YouTubers based on how many subscribers that they have. I hang out with YouTubers based on if I know them or not. And I know him. You know what I'm saying? So the, even if he he probably got maybe two, 3,000 subscribers, don't matter. Like, that's, that's my homeboy. So you know what I'm saying? That's why he... He, he cool in my book. And y'all go follow him too. Anyway, so this is the last night, man. <laughs> yeah, this is the last night. So we're just going to sip on a little. I'm actually leaving on Saturday. This is my last night of doing tech shit. <laughs> this, this is my last night of doing tech shit. For now on, the rest is straight Vegas mode. I'm, I'm transforming into Vegas mode. That's the end of the tech stuff, yo. Um, I will do the, um, I will do the, I will do the Honor V, the V20. I'll do it. Hopefully, if I could get one. You know what I'm saying? If not, I got to wait till they drop on Amazon. But I will do it. You know what I'm saying? Um, as far as... I, 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 
Oh, matter of fact, let me talk about that too. Shout out to my man Max Lee. Yo, Max, I apologize, man. It's the, the first night I hung out with Max, man, I kind of went a little overboard and got a little too wasted. So, I, you know what I'm saying? I, I couldn't do that. I'm getting old, bro. I'm getting old. I can't be going in back-to-back -back nights like I used to. So I had to take a little day off. Sorry about that, Max. I'll make it up to you when you come to New York. We get the rush hour. I know a lot of y'all wanted to see that, but Max actually left today. If he would have stayed another day, then we could have got it tonight, but it is what it is. Uh, DJ, uh, uh, DJ City, Dud City, my bad. My bad, I see you. Appreciate that. It's a little bit, um, yeah, I know. I'm, I'm a little disappointed, too, because I wanted to see that, but it is what it is. Shout out to uh, Jamie. Appreciate that. So I'm just having a little, a little pregame. Pregame, you know what I'm saying? Take care of yourself and each other, as Jerry Springer would say. Having a little pregame. Here, let's let, let's take it outside. Um, why not? I'll show y'all. I'll show y'all just in case y'all want to see the Vegas view. I'll let y'all see what it look like out here. Check. All right, this is what it look like out here. Let's a little. Let's pan around. Hold up. Look at that view. Beautiful city, man. I gotta say, I do love Vegas. Look at that city. That city is beautiful. Like it out here, you know. Yo, once once my daughter go away to school, this is gonna be my home. Y'all gonna see me out here forever, man. This is, I, I can't get enough of this city. Hey, yo, Ben Wilson, man. What's good, baby? Anyway, next week, though, I'm, I'm coming back to New York on, I want to say, Saturday. Uh, Efren, I appreciate that. I'm coming back to New York on Saturday, and when I get back, we're going straight back into normal activity. All right, back to normal activity. We're doing all the regular videos. Oh, now, matter of fact, let me tell you my, my favorite thing that I see at CES was the speakers. Now, I know, I know, you, you, you would think that you go to CES, they got all these fancy robotics, and they got all this crazy shit. The thing that gets me excited is speakers. Now, I'll tell you a true story. I'm walking around the event, so I'm looking at all the Huawei computers, all the high sense, all the 8K TVs, all that crazy shit. And I'm not really excited like that, but I was having a good time. But when I passed the speaker booth, they had some company I never even heard of. Some company had a speaker booth with all these RGB speakers. The bass was pounding. That made me stop and smile. That's how you know I'm a, I'm a straight speaker lover. Y'all can hear me good or what? Y'all want me to take it back inside? I'm just trying to give y'all some view. Some view, look, something to look at, you know. You know. <laughs> but anyway, like I was saying, um, any new smartwatches? I didn't see any new smartwatches. I didn't see, I mean, like I said, I only, it's hard to start, try to see everything in one day. It's really hard. But um, we tried it anyway. Like I was saying, no speaker videos coming up heavy. Altec Lansing. Y'all know I rock with Altec Lansing heavy. They got some crazy speakers coming out. They trying to take over Bose. They trying to take over JBL, and I'm not mad at them. I'm not mad at them. You know what I'm saying? New York, man. You know I only wear New York hats, man. You know how that go. You know what I'm saying? You know how that go. How about LG? Um, oh, matter of fact, oh, LG. LG got some speakers. I'm kind of mad, though, because I just bought that, that OK99. Y'all seen the video the other day? I bought that shit. That shit was like what? Um, maybe like seven hundred or something like that. Bought that OK ninety nine for seven hundred. Let me get a better view. I did it. Bought that OK ninety nine for seven hundred. Now they came out with one two thousand watts. I think it's called OC, OC something. Two thousand watts, bro. Crazy. Yeah. So we're gonna get that too. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get that too. Two thousand watts, bro. Now, of course. Now, look. I understand our uh, effort. I appreciate that. Let me take it back inside, man. It's a little bit, it's a little bit cold out there. But anyway, I understand like a lot of people get mad when they see the 2,000 watts. Oh, that's not really 2,000 watts. Oh, it's really, it's really 1,800, it's 1,500 watts. Doesn't matter to me. Let me hold on. What am I doing? All right, let me set up this gimbal. My bad. <laughs> yeah, my bad. My bad. I'm using this gimbal, so I gotta, gotta get used to the buttons. Anyway. Yeah, um, I don't really get too involved with all the actual wattage of the speakers. Of course, when they say 2,000 watts, of course it's not really 2,000 watts. Of course not. The question is, does it, does it sound good? And it sounds good. Am I drunk? Not at all. I just, I just opened this bottle like five seconds ago. Get a little sip, you know. It's chilling out, man. Yeah, if they say 2,000 watts, don't, don't believe it. Who cares? Plug it in, press play, see how it sounds. If it sounds loud, if it's... If it's shaking your, your damn house, if, if the bass is making the next door neighbors call the cops, 
Why do you care how many watts it is? It doesn't matter. Like, I've never been at a party and I'm chilling. I get, get my drink on, you dancing, and somebody says, yo, I wonder how many watts this speaker is. Nobody's going to say that. People just going to be like, yo, that speaker sounds crazy. Yeah? And that, that's how I do it. Exactly. As long as everybody dancing, it could be a 10-watt speaker as long as shit is dope. Anyway, uh, as far as Sony, didn't see anything from Sony. Didn't see anything from Sony. They actually, they have three. If you've never been to these kind of shows, man, it's, it's a little bit overrated. It's actually like, the best way I could describe it, going to the mall. It's like going to the mall and then just walking in every store and looking at all the products. I mean, half of the products that's there is just prototypes, so they might not even come out anyway. Uh, side, side, side. Uh, side, I forgot, I can't, I can't see the name, Side, Side Caesar, my bad, you know who you are, appreciate that, don't worry, white shoes in good hands, man, don't worry about that, <laughs> headphones, I, I went to Audio Technica, they got a lot of uh, new headphones coming out, so, nothing that was really mind-blowing, though, like, a lot of, st a lot of stuff companies have out already, like, a lot of the booths, like, when you went to Huawei, they only had two new products, everything else is stuff that we already seen, you know what I'm saying? So, it, was there any uh, true wireless earbuds worth mentioning? Not that I seen. Not that I seen. Didn't see anything. I mean, like I said, it, the way they got it set up is it's so big that you walk around, and it's not only me, you walk around for like about one hour, and it's so tight, it's crowded. Every, you're trying to take a picture, some, it's 100 people doing the pictures. You're going to get tired after a while. You, you, it's going to be whack. But I mean, 8K TVs. I mean, we'll see. MK11, of course, baby, of course. I'm. I, I, that's what I'm waiting for. Any phones worth reviewing? Um, Mate, the the Mate Porsche edition. You already know I ordered that one. High Sense. I was telling you yesterday. I don't know if that stream broke up, but this company called High Sense. They got a lot of phones coming out. They kind of look mid-range price. They trying to come to the U.S. market, but right now they only in Mexico. But Pardon me. They they kind of look like they kind of look like um a bootleg version of Honor. They look like Honor. Um, no, basically, <laughs> nah. Basically, I didn't see um I didn't see any celebrities. I was just chilling. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't I wasn't on Celebrity Patrol. I was just chilling. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, High Sense. They look. They got a phone that has uh, dual screens. Other side is black and white. I don't. Yeah. Mm, eh. Am I going to stay for the bona fight? Nah, man. I just We actually just drove by the billboard. That's next week. I'll, by next week, man, I'll be Vegas out. I, I really only got like one more night of this left in me, man. Then I got I to gotta get back to reality, man. Like, <laughs> this is too much, yo. You know what I'm saying? I'm from New York, and this is too much. All right, the Vegas life is too much. Uh, anyway, let's see. Nah, I it, it wouldn't even make no sense renting a car and all that because... Ain't really, the strip is right here. Like, better off renting a three wheeler. Now, if I was on vacation, I'd have rent one of those spiders like I did last time. That was a lot more fun, but um, wouldn't have made no sense. But anyway, I'm gonna leave. Um, I'm gonna leave on Saturday morning, so I'll be back Saturday night. So hopefully Saturday night, all of this shit that I ordered last week. By the time I get home, I know I'm gonna have box box overload. So we try to start getting back into the regular grind next week, start Sunday. I know no stream. I know y'all getting tired of me streaming, so I ain't gonna I ain't gonna hold y'all too long. I really just wanted to come through and and uh, give a shout out to all of y'all. Thank y'all to everybody that been following me for the whole trip, man. Making me feel like I got a little squad with me. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate that. And it is what it is, man. Anyway, uh, on a V20, I like that phone. Y'all see, I did the magic. It's funny because I didn't even remember doing that Magic phone. They talking about, everybody talking about Honor Magic 2, Magic 2. I don't even remember that I reviewed that shit like last week. That's how, you know what I'm saying? That's how much the Vegas got me, man. I didn't even remember that. People was like, yo, bro, you got to check out the Honor. I'm like, all right, I'm going to order that when I get back. Even the people at the Huawei booth like, yo, check out the Honor Magic. I'm like, Honor Magic, that sound familiar. That fucking slide shit. I didn't, that phone is, it, it, I don't know. Like y'all see my video, I'm not really big on the slide stuff. I'm going to let that go. Nubia X. Yeah, Nubia X is lit. But anyway, like I was saying, I really just wanted to touch base with y'all. I told y'all I'm going to keep all my streams under 15 minutes. Max Lee went home. All right, shout out to Max. When you come to New York, Max, I got you. All right, I got you. Anyway, I'll do, um, I'll do a real stream maybe on Sunday. 
if y'all really want to sit down and talk, but I, I don't want to keep streaming from these hotel rooms and all that. That's kind of, you know what I'm saying? I can't even hardly see the comments. Did anybody recognize me? Oh, that's one more thing I wanted to say thank you to. Yeah, a lot of people did recognize me, believe it or not, though. And it's not the people that you would think. Like me personally, I would think that when I'm walking around, all the hood niggas gonna be like, yo, floss, what up? Yo, of course, you know, the hood people are gonna say, what's up, the hood people? Uh, D DJ City, appreciate that. I would think that, but it was crazy that it was a lot of old, old white men coming up to me, like people that, you know, old, old white guys, like, yo, floss, what's up? Rah, this white guy came up to me by, from behind, was like, rah, karate chopped me in the shoulder. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? He's like, yo. But it, it, it's cool though, man. That, that, that shows you that. A lot of people, a lot of people following the channel from all over the world. Shout out to uh, Jamal. Appreciate that. A lot of people, multi, multi-racial, multi-cultures. That's what I like about this tech shit, man. It's not, it's not only, it's no, in the tech game, people leave that racism stuff behind and I respect that. Believe it or not, man, it was, it was, it was more, more old white people coming and say, taking pictures with me than, than the young hood people. Yeah, this guy, I'm telling you, this guy, he looked like. He looked like, um, who do y'all know that's old like that? Like, look like Bernie Sanders. Look like Bernie Sanders. I just walked right behind me, was like, rah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Karate chopped me dead in the shoulder, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate that, though. But yeah, it was a nerd fest, but it, it was, it's cool, though, man. I, I rock with the nerds, you know what I'm saying? I show, I show solidarity to the nerds, yeah. Bernie, yeah, shout out to Bernie Sanders. He came through, said, what up? <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyway, though, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's cool, though. It's cool. Taking pictures with a lot of people, man. Me, um, I'm not a big, I'm not a big people person like that. But anybody that rock with my channel, if you see me and you wanna, you wanna show some love and take some pictures and all, I'm, I'm never gonna be like, nah, I can't do that. I, ain't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't roll like that. Black Ant, what's up, Ant? Shout out to my squad. Y'all been kind of quiet. I need to, I need to jump in and catch up with y'all. See what's up with the Palette Brothers. You know what I'm saying? Where the Palette Boys at? Anyway. Uh, Mark Thompson, man. Big salute to Mark Thompson. My man Cam, I really appreciate that. Salute. You know what I'm saying? Tonight is the Drake party. I'm I'm not going. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to keep it real. I'm not even going to front like I'm going. I'm not going. <laughs> Pallet boys in the building. You know what I'm saying? You know what it is, Alan. I'm not even going to pretend like I'm going. I'm not going to no Drake party. You know what I'm saying? Not doing that. Anyway. So anyway, like I said, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody that's been rocking with me on the trip. Big salute to all y'all. Shout out to everybody that's coming through the donations. Keep me, keep me drapes there, Hennessy, for the weekend. I really appreciate that. And um, I'll get back to y'all this week in New York City. All right? I'm out of here. I'll answer maybe like, all right, give me, all right, we're we'll 17 minutes. All right, two more minutes. I'll, I'll end it at 20 minutes flat. All right, no doubt, man. I'm going to keep y'all posted. If anything does happen, though, you know, some, some crazy. Appreciate all the safe travel wishes. I respect that. The great one. Thank you. Um, if anything if anything does happen tomorrow, as a matter of fact, there's a UAG party tonight. I might I might, um, I might, might slide through to that. Because I really did want to slide through to, and, and give a shout out to UAG. They always hold me down. But I don't know, man. I don't know. Once, once, I, once I have like three more sips of this, it might be a rap, rap city. Yeah, UAG. Um, if anybody, if any, any of y'all know anybody that's going there, last time I, I'm, I'm gonna keep it hundred. Last time the UAG party though, it was a straight sausage fest, and I don't, I mean that in a cool way. You know what I'm saying? I mean that in a cool way. But um, <laughs> last time it was a little, you know, what I'm saying? it's a little iffy. It's a little iffy. All right. Anyway, it depends. Maybe, maybe, maybe if I get wasted tonight, I, I might jump back on it and talk to y'all later on again. For because I. What time is it? I'm still on New York City time. What time is it? Oh, it's early. Well, 8. Ooh, it's a little bit late out there. I don't know what time y'all on. But anyway. All right, so I'm, yeah, it's at Caesars. All right, so yeah, anybody go through the, anybody go through the Drake concert, let me know how that turns out. But I'm going to get up out of here, yo. Um, stay up, y'all. I'll see y'all back in New York City. Peace. <laughs>